Hello, my name is Christine Philander. This presentation is about the fish industry. My focus will be on the South African fish industry and the tragedy of the commons. Also, I'm going to be looking at what the problems, policies and solutions are that are associated with this tragedy. So yes, let's get straight into the content of this presentation. This presentation is for the Environmental and Sustainability Studies course, the 211 module at the University of the Western Cape. What is the tragedy of the common? Like it says in my slides, the tragedy of the commons is a situation in a shared resource system where individuals act independently according to their own self-interest. The tragedy of the commons is connected with sustainable development. It occurs when many individuals all share a limited resource. Common or limited resources have been known to collapse due to overuse, such in overfishing. The problems that the South African fish industry and possibly other fish industries around the world are experiencing will be bycatch. According to the South African Fish Industry Report, no fishing method is entirely selective catching only target species. This uninten unintended catch is referred to as bycatch. Bycatch is considered to be one of the greatest threats to the health of the marine environment. The wasteful practice of discarding unwanted species is contributing to the global problem of overfishing and declining in marine ecosystem health. Unwanted species that are not present in the picture include seabirds, sea turtles, sharks and finfish also, and also others. Policies are extremely important. We need to protect the marine life because there is so much at stake. In the case of South Africa, there is several regional fishery management organizations in order to keep this situation under control. The South African policies include aquaculture, which is a relatively new and underdeveloped sector in South Africa. This sector focuses on the protection of high value species, such as mussels, oysters, prawns, etc. Whereas wild capture includes commercial, recreational and subsistence fisheries, each with their own specific research and management mandates. The South African Fish Industry Report gave a few examples of the commercial fisheries of South Africa. These include squid, tuna pole, seaweed, white mussel, and many more. Marine protected areas should be the main or first priority of many of the fish industries in the world. The management systems are failing to maintain the productivity and biodiversity of marine ecosystems. This is in South Africa. For a South African marine protected area to be successful, it must be large enough, represent all habitats, have adequate law enforcement to control poaching, meet the community's financial income, education and recreational rights. Command and control is to regulate and control the fishermen, to set up laws in restricting them from certain things like their gear. All these solutions should be viewed as alternatives to move away from the tragedy of the commons and at the same time trying to solve the problems of bycatch. Cultural norms and creating property rights are all effective solutions. However, there are many more, like for example, NOAA fisheries in the United States developed and promoted gear design that exclude non-target species. For example, like sea turtles or sharks, it makes it easier for these creatures to escape the fish's net as they are not target species. This, this idea has actually great potential and could be implemented in South Africa. So yes, we made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next occasion. Bye-bye. <laughs>